are live. Hey, uh, my name is Joe Rochester, uh, aka Joe Keto. This is the Always Messy Keto Kitchen. And we got Christy behind the camera today because um, it's early morning here in Australia and she doesn't want to be on film. But instead, we got Kai Keto, little Kai, <laughs> and, and possibly the best, say hi, Kai, possibly the best cooking assistant that has ever lived. Uh, Kai is going to be doing some mixing for me. Are you ready, Kai? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So today, these pancakes freaking rock, right? The um, uh, just a, a bunch of experiments with recipes. I don't know if you guys like pancakes. Um, I'm not going to be eating pancakes today because I had some uh, vino last night. And so, if you've read the uh, book, I'm now going to be fasting to let my liver relax from the wine and uh, and waiting a little while to eat. But these pancakes are great snacks anytime and they are Kai approved. Do you love them Kai? Yeah, I love them. Yeah. All right, so this is super simple. Just a couple of ingredients. Kai's gonna help me mix it. This is coconut flour. We always talk about coconut flour. It's very high in dietary fiber, um, which makes it a very low net carb count. We got some baking powder. Uh, the recipe will be in the uh, in the uh, post a little bit later on. Of course, Himalayan crystal salt. Can you mix that? Keep on. I mixing. in the big one. The uh, Himalayan crystal salt. We're going to mix that in with the wet ingredients. Himalayan crystal salt. Remember, super healthy. Tons of minerals. We don't have to worry about salt. Sorry, the camera's too far away for me to be saying hi to everybody that's joining. Um, but we also have. Hi, Robin. Vanilla, hey, Robin. So vanilla, um, we're gonna use vanilla powder. If you can get your hands on it, it's great, but it's super expensive. So if you can, just uh, you know, mix that in with a little bit of, uh, or just like a vanilla extract, get a natural one if you can, get one without alcohol if you can. Um, and, um, uh, and then, but yeah, like it's just gonna be a little bit of vanilla. So even if you find one like one of those crappy ones, it's not the end of the world. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the uh, wet ingredients bowl. We got three eggs. Eggs, again, one of those things, don't worry about it. If you ever hear anybody say that, watch out how many eggs you're having, you know, they're gonna watch your cholesterol. That has all been completely uh, debunked. Robin's, uh, from, Robin's all the way from Kentucky. We were just in Kentucky. Hey, yeah. And, we're, and you're going back to Kentucky, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, there's, there's talk of me going back to Kentucky. You guys should talk, get together for a keto <laughs> coffee. It's, uh, a, it's a long flight. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so now we're putting some delicious grass-fed butter. That's our only thing. You can find grass-fed butter. Thank you, Kai. Um, you can find grass-fed butter anywhere. It's not that much more expensive. All right, so do you want to whisk? Can you whisk? So Kai is gonna help me whisk the wet ingredients up. We're also gonna be adding a uh, thickened cream. Now, you could use coconut cream if you wanted, um, if you wanna go dairy-free. We use a lactose-free thickened cream um, and find that absolutely delicious. And so then we're going to- Those get added after. So we're gonna add these after. So today we actually were a little bit low on blueberries, so we're gonna be using blueberries and strawberries, but we prefer the recipe to be just uh, blueberries. Yeah. Okay, you worry, we'll work it out then. Okay, so now we're gonna add these ingredients together. I'm gonna step away for a minute and take the camera so that Christy can uh, blend things up. She's just gonna use a beater to do that. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, something that, so I'll take you away from the noise here. Talk to you a little bit about uh, the, uh, something that makes this even easier. Super loud if I stay close to that. So this sugar-free um, maple syrup. Okay, so this is like the wonderful things uh, we will rub it, absolutely. So these are the wonderful things that have made like this lifestyle so much easier to do, so much, uh, so delicious, and so that you don't have to miss out on anything. So this is the brand that we use, this Pure brand. You can see, you can find a lot of sugar-free ones on the market, but not all of them are super healthy, right? So watch out for ones that have artificial sweeteners like sucralose, or um, acylfame potassium, you'll see it out there. Very long word for a sweetener that is really, really bad for you. Um, and, uh, but yeah, but this one is sweetened with just a little bit of stevia. Um, and I think that that's it. Oh, and urethritol. Some of the things that we always talk about. So, um, are we all ready to rock there, Walker? Okay. So, we're all good, um, and uh, and I don't even have, to be honest with you, I don't even have those, uh, the uh, maple syrup on mine. I just have it plain because they're so good. So what am I doing with the blueberries, Christine? So you're just gonna fold those in? 
So I'm going to fold in the blueberries. Of course, we got a mixture stir them of gently. blueberries and strawberries. Fold means stir gently, apparently. And we normally double the recipe because we use them as snacks throughout the day. They're so good, even just out of the fridge cold. That's what I was going to say. So I'm going to be enjoying these as a snack later on. It's almost like a pancake cookie or something like that. So, okay, so I've been heating this, I've been heating this pan on a very low heat and I put an ample amount of coconut oil in there. This is where, for all, everybody that's looking to lose weight on the keto diet, um, you know, we always kind of preach about don't worry about jacking up your fats until you actually lose the weight that you want because, can you lift that up a bit? Um, yeah, it's a because, little bit thick, so though you can add a little bit of water if you want, just to thin it out. Yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, so when you, uh, so the reason we say don't have, you know, worry about adding loads of fat is because, is because you, um, you want to use the fat on your body, right? So this is a very thick mixture. So what you want to do when you add it to the pan is just put a little bit in there. Keep them, you know, as small as you like. So put a little bit in there. You don't have to go any bigger than that. And you want to squish it right down. I'm so excited for these. <laughs> I'm going to squish it right down nice and flat. Beautiful. So yeah, so when we talk about not adding too much uh, fat into your diet, but one of the things that you don't need to worry about is um, putting lots of coconut oil in the pan and cooking with lots of coconut oil, you know, adding lots of coconut or uh, avocado oil or um, olive oil to your salads. So there you go. That's going to take, uh, how long does that take to cook, Wax? Oh, it's about three minutes, but it depends on the heat. We usually use a medium heat. Yeah, so just basically wait till you see that and then you can, as you're trying to flip it over, you can kind of peek underneath it, see that it's getting a little bit brown, flip it over after that. Um, you know, it'll take a, it might take you a couple times to get used to exactly how long it takes on your stove and that the heat you're cooking it on, but these things are absolutely delicious. Hey Suzette, join them right at the end, but don't worry, watch the rest of the recording. These pancakes absolutely rock and they are uh, super healthy with uh, healthy fats, lots of dietary fiber. And, uh, and perfect for any time. Remember those blueberries, this time we use strawberries and blueberries, <laughs> any type of the berries, guys, can have fruit in your diet, stick to that. So you wanna only have about a handful of fruit a day, stick to the berries, um, and they are the highest in dietary fiber and the lowest in sugar, keep you in that uh, low carb, carb appropriate keto state. That's it for us, guys. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that and uh, have an awesome day. We'll talk to you soon.